Hi guys, welcome back to another WFSU Public Media Craft. Today we are making rovers like this one that lives on Mars. You're going to start off by using a tissue box or any box that you can reuse like these cake ones. For extra cardboard, try to look around and see what you don't need and you can recycle. You're also going to need egg cartons for wheels and if you don't have that, maybe try to find some Dixie cups or Get creative, look around your house. What can you repurpose and reuse to use as wheels for your rover? You're also gonna need some scissors and tape and some glue. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to make your wheels. Now if you're using egg cartons, it's really easy to just rip off the little sections. There's no need for scissors and you're gonna need four in total. Now I'm trying to measure these so that when I put the glue on, it's easier for me. So with a grown-up's help, you can use some scissors, cut around, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just cutting off around the edges. When you're ready for glue, you're just gonna go around the edges and it's okay if you get a little messy, you can just wash your hands and just try to be as slow and patient as possible. When you're all done, you're just gonna hold this down just a little bit. Now you're gonna grab your extra cardboard and if you're using another box, you can just open it up from the bottom so that it's easier to flatten out and cut into a square and some flaps. You can use the edges of a box here I'm just measuring out how I'm going to want to place these. This is a great way to practice what you're going to be doing before you use glue or tape. Now I'm going to start taping the panels to my rover. These are solar panels because rovers use the sunlight to make energy and be able to move around and take pictures and samples of different rocks and materials on Mars and on the moon. So I'm just securing the first part and making sure that the ends are still movable. And you're just gonna do this all the way around, but once you get to the bottom of this, you're only gonna do one side. The other side, we are going to be leaving open so that your rover can open and close, just like this. Now I'm gonna be using an extra piece of cardboard to kind of measure how far up I want my panels to go. Panels move around so they can get the different directions of the sun. And here I'm just kind of measuring a quarter of an inch to an inch so that we can fold it and I'm going to make a smaller tab at the top and the bottom and adding glue to these so that they can stick. Now using glue can be a little tricky and a little messy, but remember you can always wash your hands afterwards and to be very patient with glue. And if glue is a little too tricky, that's totally fine. You can also use some tape. Once your spring is nice and secure and you've checked your rover to make sure that everything is sturdy, that it can withstand the winds of Mars, we are going to go ahead and start decorating. Now I'm using blue and red paint, but you can use markers or crayons or construction paper, anything you have at your home, you're welcome to use to decorate. The end, it will look like this and it came out pretty cool looking. You can use the inside of the tissue box to collect rocks or leaves or anything you find in your backyard and take your rover on an adventure. Thank you for joining us today, guys. Make sure you share your photos with us of your projects at WFSU Education with your parents' permission for a chance to, for us to share your projects. See you next time.